I don't really like Clark's, but I think I found a version that I might like. So let's cut it in half and compare it to the other Clark's and see if it's any good. So we got some really fun stuff coming up on the channel. We just released the limited edition Clomps tees. So if you didn't see that in the Father's Day video, go check that out. The link in the description. We're only doing a single batch of them. And we'll never print them again. And more importantly, my very first boot drops July 10th. And we're only doing 500 pairs. So if you don't want to miss that drop, you don't want to miss your chance to get one of those, be sure to sign up to the email list below because we'll also send you a few emails leading up to it to, so you have everything you need to know to jump on that drop as soon as it happens. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing because a lot of fun stuff is happening. And wait till you see the cutting apparatus that we're making for that video for my very first boot, it's gonna be awesome. So um, sign up for that email list and uh, let's get back to Clark's. So I did cut these Clark's in half. This is just the, the Desert Boot, the original one last year. And since this is the Chuck Boot series, I feel like we had to do a Clark's of some kind. I didn't wanna just rehash this video and recut this in half and recite that information over again. But I did see seven things I didn't like about these original desert boots that this boot might fix. So this is gonna be a pretty quick video, just cutting this one in half and comparing them and seeing if this boot fixes the seven things I hate about Clarks. So what are those seven things? The first one is Clarks are notorious for their outsoles chunking off and falling apart just because it's this crepe rubber. The second thing is there's no shank in here, so you don't have any support. You get that really high pressure point right at where that heel ends. The lasting board is just a really cheap fiber board. The foam heel pad is really thick and it, it takes a long time to wear in and by the time it's worn in, it might as well not be there. So you get like a weird ridge there that lines up with the edge of the heel. I don't like that this sock liner or this insole doesn't go all the way through the, the front of the foot. You also get a ton of heel slip in Clarks, at least for me, because I have like little lady ankles. And so with two eyelets, it doesn't really cinch down around my, my ankle how it should. So I, these things just kind of, my foot floats around them and I get a lot of heel slip. And the last thing is I think you are paying a little bit extra just for that Clarks name. I think they rely on their name a fair amount. Um, kind of like Birkenstocks do. So now let's go over the boot information and get an idea of what makes this boot different. So the brand is obviously Clark's. The style is a desert coal. I got the blue suede, but it comes in three other options. They weigh one pound, five ounces. They retail for $160, which is $10 more than the regular ones. And they're made in Vietnam. Now let's go over the information we can gather about these boots before we cut them in half. So starting with the leather, this is a suede leather. And we talked about suede in the Thursday video. So go check that out if you don't know what the difference between suede and rough out is but this is a CF Stead suede. So CF Stead is probably the, the best and well-known suede makers in the world. They're based out of England and this leather is 2.2 millimeters thick and it's kind of an interesting leather because on the inside it's a finished flesh leather so it almost looks like it has that lining and it, it acts as a lining so you don't get the little fuzzies in your socks. Uh, it's a really unique way of fixing that problem. And like I said, there's no lining in this boot, which is part of what I love about Clark's and Chucka Boots is, is how simple they are. It's almost like you're wearing a pair of leather socks around all day, and I, I love how simple it is. And speaking of simplicity, the construction of this boot is stitched down just like the other Chucka Boots we reviewed. It's a really simple, easy and fast construction style that's fairly easy to resole. Then to the inside, we got that insole, and this one feels like it goes all the way to the forefront of the foot. So that's already one thing that I hate about Clark's this boot fixes in particular. And then to the midsole, so it looks like it's just one, two, three, four layers of crepe all the way through the midsole and outsole. And then as for what's on the inside, I, I think I literally think it's just all crepe all the way through, which is kind of cool because you get a lot of, of squish. It just might not have as much support as a more sturdy outsole, because this is like an inch and a half of, of crepe. And then other than that, we don't really know what else is on the inside. I think it's just crepe all the way through, but let's cut it in half, get a clean cross section, compare the two and see if it fixes those seven things I hate about Clark's. Magic Spoon is by far the most recurring sponsor on the channel because all of us love it because it's a, it's a healthy cereal that tastes really good. Unlike those childhood cereals that are so full of sugar. But if you're like me, you're a man child and you need a little bit of sugar in your cereal in the mornings. And this is a really good alternative to that really bad cereal that we used to eat as kids because it has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and four net carbs for each serving. And it comes in six really good flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cinnamon, and blueberry. And the nice thing is Magic Spoon has a build your own box where you can choose four different colors of any combination and try out a bunch of different flavors. 
And I like the peanut butter. Peanut butter is by far my, my most favorite. So if you like peanut butter stuff, be sure to try the peanut butter because it's really good. The thing that people really like about Magic Spoon is it's high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grownups. That's why I like it. So if you haven't tried this yet or you want to buy another box or two, go to magicspoon.com slash Roseanville and use the code Roseanville for $5 off your order. And if you don't like it for any reason, Magic Spoon has a 100% happiness guarantee so you can get your money back if you don't like it for any reason. So thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Check their links out in the description. All right, got it cut in half, and that was surprisingly fun to cut in half. So much crepe, but let's see what's inside. I did not expect to see this white wedge of foam on the inside. That really, really surprised me. I thought for sure it was just crepe all the way through. I, look how much foam there is in there. And I, I don't really know what the purpose of it is. I think it might be to reduce weight, reduce cost, and maybe add some stability to this shoe because with the inch and a half of just crepe, I feel like maybe it's a little sloppy and a little um, unsupportive. Maybe the foam helps with that. Maybe it compresses. I don't really know. I, didn't, I did not expect to see foam on the inside of, the, of here. So now let's go through this layer by layer and see if this boot fixes the seven problems I saw. So starting with the outsole. So this is a, a wedge outsole, so you don't have quite as many edges to break off and chunk. I still think it has a tendency to break and chunk and, and split, but I just don't think it's quite as much. So it, it kind of fixed that issue. Then moving to the shank, still no shank, but it doesn't need it because it's a wedge. So that one's fixed. Then to the lasting board, the exact same lasting board. I don't like the lasting board. I, like the, a lot of the materials are pretty premium. Like you've got a, a leather board heel counter, but for some reason they don't put a leather a lasting board. So that one is not fixed. Then to the foam pad. So if you look at this one, it's quite a bit smaller than the original desert boot, which I like because I hated how, how much of a high pressure point this one had. So that one is fixed. Then to the heel slip. So this one has three eyelets. It doesn't, it doesn't cinch down that much tighter, but it definitely does hug my little lady ankles a little bit better than the original ones. So that one for me is at least fixed to some degree. And then finally to the, the price, I still think you're paying a little bit for that Clark's name, but I, I'm okay with that because I kind of like the brand name stuff. I like having the, the well-known silhouette, the well-known brand. I can't help it. Even though I have this channel dissecting boots, I still am a sucker for the name brand. So I don't think it's a huge deal. I think you are paying for the name, but it's not three. It's not like the common projects where it was three times the price it should have been. I think it's only like a 20 or $30 difference. So I think this boot is pretty killer. You know, I, I still, I don't love Clark's. It's a little bit chunky and it's, it's just a little bit weird, but for Clark's, this new version to me is significantly better than the old version. And as for how this ranks on our radar graph, I'll put it right here. And here are the other ones we've done so far just for reference. And let me know what you guys think if you've owned a pair of these, whether it's the wedge version or the classic desert boots. So thank you guys for everything you do and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.